up next, it's a flyweight title fight between Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica Andrade. So here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight contender looking to become the new UFC Women's Flyweight champion here tonight. And most people believe she has all the skills in the world to get the job done and change the complexion of this division moving forward. Let's see what type of championship performance she can put forth here tonight. So here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, all smiles as she makes the walk here tonight, looking to go out the way she came in as the undisputed champion at 125 pounds. Most people believe it is gonna take a huge effort from one of these fellow contender types to dethrone this UFC Women's Flyweight Champion. Let's see how she does in this defense here tonight. Just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Our fans for the undisputed UFC flyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 8 losses. She stands 5 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Jessica Batistaca Andrade. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. Valentina Bullet Shevchenko! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. of a grappler's delight tonight. These women can strike, and that's the type of fight they're expecting. A lot of times people believe when you put two strikers together, they end up wrestling, but these two women have told us, don't even think about calling any grappling. Tonight you watch a kickboxing match inside of the octagon, so be prepared. Oh, really using her reach advantage to land the jab there, DC. There's no give on that leg kick. 
more clinching. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Oh, beautiful combination. It was all set up by that takedown. Well, a lot of film on her throwing that right hand went to the left hand. Sometimes you got to mix it up, and that's exactly what she's doing. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Andrade is looking to lock up an arm bar here. Staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hips, create some space, shrimp off to the side, re-slide in that half guard so that it now she's a little bit safer. Once you're in half, take your underhook, get back to your feet, or fully recover full guard. Shevchenko gets back up. Nice combination there by Shevchenko, punctuates it with the kick, and if you're gonna stand and trade with Shevchenko, better tighten up that defense. Yeah, but that's usually what she does. She's very good at mixing it up and leaving you with a kick at the end. I think back to her fight with Holly Holm. I thought that was one of her greatest performances to date, when she was landing those beautiful combinations and really dictating to Holly how the fight played out. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Next round is underway. She came perilously close to tapping out in that previous round. We'll see if her submission defense gets tested once again. She came so close to tapping, but the toughness that she showed in staying in there and not tapping was amazing. I know, me personally, my night might have been over. I might, have been, I might, John, be walking back to the locker room where I went out. Right now, with my head hanging low. You've never tapped it. I've never tapped, but I've never put myself in a position. If I was where she was, tap, 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 tap. No taps, no naps. Hey, put some shoes on my feet, I'll start tap dancing. <laughs> Shevchenko gets touched by that kick there. 26 total strikes have landed for Valentina Bullock Shevchenko. And a pretty good clip as well. He is striking at a 60% accuracy rate against Jessica Andrade. Oh, eats a knee. Way to hide that leg kick. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Oh, she lands the punch there. That'll do it! So the stoppage comes after that flurry of strikes by TKO, and the celebration is on for the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion. What a performance on the biggest of stages tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute 36 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO.
Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. Well, that's one way to retain your UFC Women's Flyweight Championship. Congratulations to the consensus best 125 pound fighter in the world. And nice to see her have this moment with her corner and training partners right now. They put a lot into this training camp. They dealt with some adversity. They knew how talented this number one contender was, but it goes into the books the same way past fights have. A TKO for the flyweight champion.